guys welcome back to the tutorial the last time we started this project i showed you guys how to set up the authentication process and i promise that in the next video we will start making this particular product to look like a full-fledged e-commerce application without wasting your time that is what we are going to be doing today and i have identified so many things that we are going to add to this project to make it look better one of them is to set up a profile page which you can refer to as the dashboard and in certain of these profile pages i'm going to have two types of profile one for the admin profile which will comprise adding products deleting products editing products see other products by users view all products then also see ratings and reviews of products from users while for the normal users we will be able to add product to cart remove products from cart check out product then review and rate products purchased we will see how far we can go i'm going to try to split the videos in different stages maybe for the profile page i will just have a separate video for that while for the cat process i also have a separate video for that maybe i can capture check out cat together and also maybe payment process the checkout process will comprise of the payment gateway so i'm gonna put payment gateway here because at the end of the day we'll be using a payment gateway to test run what we have done here now without wasting your time we can begin working on this project now this is our project and in this our project we are going to start setting up the backend for our profile and to do that there are some things we might have to update okay i remove the secret key for this save now this particular project here is going to be available in the github that i've already started posting i just want to update everything here after updating everything then i will push it back to github okay so now in our app we have the api app and inside the api app there are some things we have to do to set up a user dashboard for our users now like i said it's going to comprise of two separate users one of the users we are going to have is the one for the admin while another user we are going to have is the one for normal users so the last time we started this tutorial i set up this user detail view so that i can be able to use it to retrieve users details in my front end so i'll just ignore this particular api view then we have also set up the user create api view that helps us to create our users now for us to create something for our dashboard i'm going to be creating a user dashboard view and the purpose of this user dashboard view is to help us to retrieve our user data and place them in our front end under our dashboard component so to do that i'm going to set up a class and this class i'm going to call it class user dashboard view so i'm going to use generics dot let's use generic api view now inside this my function what i'm going to do is to set up the permission classes which is necessary you will not be able to access the dashboard if you're not authenticated now i'm going to set up my get for the get i will use self request then i'll also set argument then i'll also set keywords argument correct this okay so now inside this function what i will do is to set my user equals to request the user which will help us to get the currently authenticated user when we do this i will go ahead to prepare the user data let me add like a comment here what i'm gonna do next prepare user data and for this user data set a user data variable and inside this variable let's do this okay let's zoom up a little bit all these things i'm having here i might not need them i need the id i need the username i also need email even though we did not use email to set up our authentication but you can just leave it there but you know what no need let me remove it let's just capture the main things we'll need we we'll need is active and we also need is staff but i don't need to show the is super user there for our last name or um, you can decide whatever you want to have there but i just want to keep just few information so we'll capture the data the id the username the is staff maybe you can also capture the is active then user that is active so i'll go ahead and return let me use response instead of just json response here from res underscore framework dot response as in put response you can decide to use json response it doesn't matter but i want to use response here so we'll return response then inside this response i will assign the user data okay so our dashboard is set up very simple generic view that we have created all we need is to get we are not doing anything beyond the get which will help us to get our user data but for you to access this 
you should be authenticated which is why we are using the permission classes is authenticated we can decide to set this up you know and see how it goes before we continue but instead of going back and forth we setting up different things i think what i can do is to also set up the pro dots okay you know what let's deal with only this one let's see how this one works first in my urls.py open it up let's come here i will do part inside my part let's do dashboard and comma user dashboard view dot as view then name dashboard just as simple as this okay let me save go to our front end set up our dashboard or jss under our components i will set up a dashboard dot jss okay now to set up this dashboard or jss i will import react aside from react i need to import use effect then i will also import use state all from react import our api from api set up a dashboard.css shortly that will help us to style our dashboard so i'm just gonna set dashboard.css here import access token from token once i'm done importing all this the first thing i'm gonna do is to create this const dashboard we we'll maintain the arrow function we are using here to set the user data and to do that i'm gonna set user data then i will set set user data we will use state but i set it to null we don't need the access token there just null like that then another thing i will also set is is admin because like i said i want a situation whereby this our whole process we could pull up an information based on the user who logged in so what do i mean i want to have a dashboard that helps me as an admin to be able to manage product also i want to also have a dashboard that helps me as a user to able to see my details and also see my orders to do this we can use the same dashboard to achieve the same thing the only thing is whenever we log in the system is going to check if we are a staff based on whatever we are it will display our information in the dashboard for us so for that i'm going to set up is admin and for this is admin i'm going to use it to check it in our system if the person that is signed in is an admin so to do that i will set const is admin okay and for this i will set it to to be set is admin and let's start with capital later okay we can just do it like this let's do it this way but for this one i'm going to set it to be false now i will do the one for error const error to set error you state will set it to be null so set the one for loading const loading then set loading use it to be true we'll close it let's go ahead and set our use effect and for this one i will fetch user data asynchronously with the try i will first of all do const access token here you can set it to be token but it's better for me to just use access token here for better readability because that's what we are pulling off from here so cause access token then i will do local story dot get access token but before we get to this i'm going to do something if it's not access token i want you to help me and throw an error so i will use throw new error no access token found i'll go ahead and set the cons headers and inside this cons headers i will set my authorization for this authorization bra will set the access token once this is done the next thing is to now fetch the user data and let me say the user data and to fetch the user data i will set const let's use const user response for this i will set it to be await but i will do api dot get you remember our endpoint is dashboard in our urs.py right and our url is http at this moment then at one two seven okay zero dot zero dot one then eight thousand right slash dashboard we'll close this and inside this i will put the headers because the headers is important this is what will be able to enable us access this and note that we are currently authenticated so make sure you set the headers properly inside this your user response i will do const user set it to be user response dot data right and i will go ahead and set user data to be user then i'll also set the admin sorry set is admin to be user dot is staff now you can see i'm using the user dot is staff to note if the person is an admin or not so with this process we can go ahead to log or catch some error now let's um close this our try now let's catch errors for the error we we'll use error then i can add some console 
the error error fetch it user data then the error in case there's any error but before i set this my error here i want to do something i'm going to come above and do const error message then i will do error dot response come below yes we'll put error the response that data the detail and error occurred then i'll come here and i will do an error occurred put space then concatenate this with error dot message for here i don't need this now finally we'll then set the loading calm down we need to close this use effect let's close it i will do fetch user data and inside this place i will set an empty array the way it is set up for me here okay now i think this function is ready to go let's move on come down below here i will set loading or let's say error handling for this one what i will do is do if loading then return Let's use a p tag here loading dash 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 then if it is error we'll do the same if error right let's put it inside a bracket if error a return let's also use this but i can put a class name here for the error class name i can set it to be error message okay so this one will display the error for us while this one will also show us loading in a situation whereby we are handling the loading process the next thing i'm going to now do is to set up a function to render the user data so let's set up function to render user data and for this one i will do const can do const render user data and i will use arrow function but i don't want to put any parameters there okay what i can do is instead of using curly bracket let's use bracket this way then i will put a diff and let's remove this you can put the welcome user the user data the user name you can even add maybe like a dashboard then for this this one is admin do it this way you're an admin then your email user data the email then your id is not necessary i can change this one to be status so that you will know your status the user data dot is active right we'll check if it is active then it will show as active if not show as inactive and start this one with capital later we are making progress now i will come down below and set up the admin features but since we do not have any products for that yet i can just skip or even set it up yeah let me just set it up we'll come back to it so i'll just call it render let's call it render admin features for this one i'll also use my normal arrow function right bracket then div admin features so we can come back to this when we have endpoints for admin to access maybe like to use it and manage the product so that you can move to the product management from here i will just come down and go ahead and return this for this one we'll use class name as dashboard i can put like let me put like a hedge one here call it dashboard instead of doing it this way i don't want all those div let's just return this render user data is admin and render admin features let's remove this so when we have other things we want to add we can add that but i think that's all the only thing i need to add at this point we'll go ahead and export the default dashboard so we are making some progress we now have like a dashboard that i've set i have saved it before we continue i'm going to come to our css our styles page we'll create a dashboard.css i'll go ahead and paste the css i have created for that save we can close this down now in our app.jss we close this we can go ahead and import the dashboard from our components so that below the register i can set up a route for that normally you're not meant to access it if you're not authorized so this works fine element is authorized dashboard then navigate to log okay save now what i can do is in our navbar.jss there are some things i might have to update so that we can have like an icon controlling how the dashboard is being shown in our number come down here in this same right i can capture the dashboard here so that it will also utilize this is authorized process that we are having for the logout so you can only see it if you're authorized so let me put it inside this tag remove this indict this one so we can have this here so that here i can now add another li for our dashboard set use link no it should be dashboard then i don't need this class here remove just put db here but i can add a class name here dashboard icon save this 
let me just open our navbar css highlight everything then do control v so that i can update the whole details the changes i made to the css back to this we can come back here and try to log in so let's log in with youtube login let's see invalid credential okay let's try again one two three so we now see this here db log out so if i try to access db i'm saying fail to execute open on sml request invalid url let's expect and see but it's good because of the error i captured that is why i'm able to so it's pointing here okay so let's come back to the code and let's cross check our dashboard.jss okay so if you look here you see that something is wrong with this it's not meant to be semicolon there let me turn it back it's meant to be dot just like this then dot zero dot zero dot one then semicolon there okay so if you save and go back now and let's refresh this and see okay so welcome youtube yeah your email there's no email then status active okay so let's go back and let me see what i have done here i can remove this your email since we are not using email all we are using is um okay so if this person was an admin it would have shown that you're not bit so what i can do is to come back here let's try to open up our admin so i can change the status of youtube to be admin so if i go to users here youtube is one of our users but let me change the status to be admin let's save now if i refresh this let's see okay db admin features is not showing you are an admin status active okay now let's come back here we can try to update this put by putting semicolon there or colon whatever so that we can show properly here now you are an admin is showing because you are an admin and you can see the admin features that i added here so our dashboard is now set up to show us some details but what i can now handle is in a situation whereby we log in instead of just redirecting me to home let it take me to the dashboard and to do that how are we going to achieve it we'll now go back to the way we were handling our login process and capture dashboard to be the navigate page once we log in so we have to open up our out form in our out form let's change what happens when we log in so if i come here if method is equals to login instead of navigating back to home i can change this to be dashboard okay so let's save and let's go back here log out let's log in again if we log in now will be oops it did not do that why it's meant to redirect me to dashboard now if we come back here instead of having this navigate to be redirected to home for this our protected login i will also change this to be dashboard okay i've already set this one here save now if we come back let's log out and log in again login Okay, so you can see we have been redirected to the dashboard. So guys, this is how to set up a dashboard in your Django and React project. You can use this to kickstart and play around. You can add more features instead of only having the username here like I did and setting status and admin for a case of an admin user. You can change it to capture more information on your dashboard depending on the project. So in the next video, I'm going to now be setting up a product i'll be able to show you guys how to add a product in your e-commerce application that is running with django and react then we'll also be able to see the admin features we have already set up in our dashboard here working so there are some other things i will have to add inside this our admin features that i have set up a function for so guys um this is it for this particular part of this video setting up a dashboard see you in the next one which is to add products and set up the cart <music>